right <clears throat> as you say <laughs> let's do this there's a ton of stuff so I'm gonna give you the major points here um, so for you Ogre Cycle the final version will be presented to quarter um, responding to a bird I like that it's always good to add some variation in there um, challenge names is fat belly oh yeah good though all right well to me there's the multi camera version it's very cool I really like how you have this pointed out and then it comes in and then it comes out again <clears throat> and it comes in at a at an angle you know so it's not foot is not flat but it's actually like that to the ground it's great shoulders are great I would probably have only two comments here uh, <clears throat> a couple actually a couple of more things on your foot here see when you go up it feels like if I'm tracking that controller in your ankle it goes up 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 and then straight it has kind of a arc like that and you don't have to go that high you can soften that and make that more of an arc over there you know so it doesn't just go up and then over because you know it's it's a walk they're fairly lazy there's no reason to go so high up here so you can just roll and then immediately go down and maybe at this point the foot wouldn't be angled like this but even more so you have room to go down with the toes i would do that the bigger the biggest thing to me is that once this happens, you know, there's a lot of weight on here, on that arm. But when that happens, this is totally locked. So what I would do is keep those fingers closer together. And then as you go into this pose and there's more pressure, you can lower this so that you have uh, this hand, arm will be a bit more forward with a little bit of a bend in the uh, in the wrists so that by the time you're hit here that's when your toes basically spread basically I'm looking for any type of compression see if I scrub through there's nothing going on in that wrist even even when you do this and you move over and you have this alignment and before that it was like this your wrist stays like that on this pose you would have the pivot on the finger like that but then the wrist would be aligned with the forearm so the, the wrist has to rotate over this way that's the only thing that feels a bit too locked gets a bit too IK and yeah and then the head on the impact the head feels a bit IK so I'm looking at this and I see a lot of translate <coughs> <coughs> excuse me you want to hear that a lot sorry I'm still fighting last stretch of um, sickness while my little baby's coughing next door. Anyway, boom, see on that, boom, on those steps, boom, I wish on that the head would have a slight dip and a slight rotation with a slight rotation this way, if that makes sense. It's basically a little impact where every time it steps down, uh, the head rotates down, but because of that, you want to make it more complex, it might have a slight uh, rotation in Y, you know, do maybe a little bit of a out and drag and tilt this way because of it and then catch up to your pose by here. So it's just a bit more complex boom, on that on that turn. Just because right now doing moments like this this just feels very IK. Look at the shoulder moving everything and the head just kind of stays locked and there's not that much in there rotation wise. Very cool though, I gotta say. Big fan. <clears throat> and then you have the overall view here. It's cool to see the top view too, and it's actually the IK is even more pronounced through here. That feels like the head just kind of glides across his neck. So mechanics wise, it feels just a bit broken. And you can counter that with. Like reducing the IK translate and just adding more rotation during that moment. But you can also see how the head physically goes, kind of sticks a couple of frames here. You know, so careful about that. 
cool. It works great from A to B. It's very cool. It's a really, really cool walk. Um, you have still poses. Um, Reese being used properly because it seems to deform strangely in the spine. Deformations are okay. You know, unfortunately, that will be something for the uh, mentor rigging department. I guess that's okay. I wonder if you can rotate that hip down more to get a bit more of a, a rounded deformation there. And if that dip is kind of neat, but this feels it almost feels unnaturally straight. And I don't know if your, you know, if your hip is still aligned that way, you need to have a slow rotation down, which might help in that section. Yeah, I know there's something, like you said, the spine section is a bit funky. Like even here. I I'm curious of that from the profile view, but it just feels so unnatural. This I kind of get being so stiff because he's, you know, he's going out, rawr, but then it feels like this feels from the side like you're just doing that, like it's straight down. Whereas if he roars, um, you know, he could almost have a slight foot roll and be more like that, where you know it has a slight bend in the feet and you got the shoulders and it's. Rawr. You know, so you have a bit more of a forward lean while he, while he does his thingy. Whereas this feels just a bit stiff, so I would lean him forward, which might help, you know, with that deformation there. Something here. Yeah, again, this is not, not my department, but I can see your this, this those areas feel problematic. Especially here, yeah, it's like some extra roll. Poses are cool. But yeah, I think you have uh, identified the problem areas. Uh, there is a spike shot. Alright. <clears throat> Close up shots would be worth using on a reel, at least on a game reel. Any other thoughts? Minor changes if needed. Wait, am I missing? You talk about a close up shot, which is not in here. So, hold on. Alright. I paused it for you, nothing happened, but I paused and checked the other link, and it's the same. Um, you're probably just talking about this one, right? I suppose a close up is. That would be your framing for a close up. This is a, a wide body shot. I think this is cute. My thing would be watch out that your feet don't go up straight like that on a jump. You want your toes pointing down. Same thing here, this is all too flat. But very defaulty. So even here you would have that or you go all the way up for like a big arc to have the foot plants on this. Here the foot seems really uh, squished, you know, in that area there, so you would have to uh, add a foot roll there, so that the tibia is not completely flat on the foot, you know. And all polished stuff where I see a lot of knee movements, and, you know, the body's moving a lot, but if I scrub through, especially on this side, there's nothing going on, on the foot, there's no ambient movement, you know, if you move the leg, it's going to affect the foot a bit. The biggest thing when I was watching is, um, was how this arm just kind of feel a bit half-assed the throw like he does such a it's a big pose it's presentational hey I have this and then this excited thing which I don't know you know, for me you could probably bring that over that hand a bit lower so it blinds up here to give you a nicer silhouette on the elbow maybe but the thing is, after all this, that throw seems so small. <laughs> you know? As you do this, I mean, it doesn't have any shoulders, I guess. 
but to me, the throw this pose here almost go like this. Right, so when you throw, it's a bit more pronounced. You could have, um, hold on, let me bring the thing up so I can draw correctly. There you go. I will rotate the body over. It's changing color here. So rotating the body over in Y so that the, the foot might be, you know, into a foot roll like that. This can still stay. And then that elbow part is here. So you have an open hand. You know, so you still have a silhouette and then that thing comes out throwing here. If that makes sense. That's the big thing I would change if it was that throw. It's just mostly in his arm. Doesn't really do much more in the head. Uh, in the body. And those arms feel a bit too twinned at this point here. They go up at the same time, hang thin uh thing poses. And the same you don't quite finish the arc, you go down and then stop. You know, that arm goes up, down, and stop. So there's little polish things here and there. <coughs> you know, that exit, it could be more interesting where, see how you go out and he's always the same height? Eyes are the same. You can take this, and I don't know what the context is and what's going to happen, but maybe by then, imagine that, you know, if he's here, He's actually lower, right? So that eye ends up being there. You go. So maybe he's that low, and he ha he's starting to squint with my laggy tool. But again, yeah, the hat be lower. So it's not that's the height, right? It's always the same. But in your case, that way it goes it goes down, and the squinting of the eye just it is an overall pose change as he exits. That's my point for contrast and complexity. This just feels like, okay, one pose, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. So this for extra polish, you know, that's probably what I would do. All right. Then you have, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, this works. The problem is a bit, it's a bit far away. I mean, I know that's the angle, but it kind of stays far away. It's not, you don't see that much. It doesn't really help our silhouette. But you could do something where your camera starts a bit more. So that's your uh, finish line, and they are coming. And that's your camera. The camera could be maybe here on her throughout the shot travel this way you know so there's some foreground elements that move to get some complexity you know if you want to show off the cycle that way maybe have a bit more dynamic camera move just a bit but it works it's cool to see and then this way front side view Okay, hold on, I might have the, a different, this, this is one presentation, walk variation, I don't think that was in the zip, so let me just check, separate links, what is this, hold on, that was my camera, be funky, yes it was, it seems better, at least you feel like you see more of them, but I feel like you can try maybe take this camera as A, and you finish with the other shot that I had, and so that you're doing like a, a slight translate forward into the finish line with the camera. And regarding how fast they are, that's the thing, they are a bit fast. I think I'm reading the guy more than the woman. And since I'm reading down here, yeah, maybe it's better to just ditch her. You know, unless you bring that into a story where... <coughs> she's fast. I don't know. I'm just thinking. She comes past camera and it's really fast. And then he comes in and comes to a stop and ends up in front of the camera. Like this. And, is, and then you start an acting shot. 
sorry my tool is lagging out of breath and was like wow how crazy how fast you are like this this could end up in a in a acting shot never mind just me saying stupid things but yeah you're kind of on point there maybe ditch her I can definitely read him more let's put it this way and then sorry I said motion variation arm poses for each other and then loop this I was just checking the head in terms of overlap. Also, at that speed, I'm looking at strobing. You know, like what poses are reading the most. Because you can always see everything, but I really like your arc up, hold, and how it goes down. And I can read that section really well, that arc that goes in there. Super cool. I really like this. He's really great. My only thing on him, <coughs> his head feels a bit IK. Just the sliding left and right, there's something about it that's missing. Just like in the ogre, when you go on the on the on this, where it goes so much to the left, where you want to, you know, he might be leading this with the chin a bit, so that means it will be tilted off a bit this way, so the chin leads, and then you get to this pose and then that's where you are and then here on this move again you are leading him I'm not not that much obviously but you want to tilt him over this way so if your head is that maybe like that just to see you know just a bit so it's not just translate to me this feels like a lot of translate same thing great arcs on arms Sideways moves. It's cool. Yeah, I like this a lot. Cool. Uh, that's nothing. Um, you are talking about the knees should be always traveling. And they're pointed too far out. Uh, yeah, maybe a bit. I don't mind on him. Male characters is kind of okay, it's that whole John Wayne thing. Yeah, see, the, the, the knee traveling doesn't bother me. I know what, you, what they mean, especially because you go, Phew, it hits this wall here and then it just travels. All you would have to do is just the travel distance of this so at this point. You have to cheat it a bit and A, bring it a bit back and then throughout the whole thing, um, by the time you're here, the leg will be a bit further forward. So your head foot will be here, meaning then on your plants, see how you're planting down forward? Like you'd be putting, you're moving your foot forward and it's a plant. And sometimes you see in walks how the foot goes forward and then on the down you actually go backwards a bit and that's okay too so again if you're at this point and your leg is a bit further back and then throughout all of this you move it a bit more forward to get that constant move so you're basically easing into that forward move on the thigh that would be one way maybe your shoulders are a bit much they seem to go up and down at the same time. They're pretty big. I like what they do. Maybe you can vary, uh, change the variation in terms of maybe the back one is higher than the front one. Right now I see it. I see a shoulder move. It's cool. It gives them attitude, but I would, I would love it to be more a feeling than seeing. So kind of reducing maybe a tiny bit, but also maybe favoring one side than the other over the other.
really good. You have a really nice balance. Um, I wouldn't say wiggle, but it's just good, good life to all the body parts. Like the side view works really well. Fappy super picky. Maybe her there's something in her hip that feels wiggly. Where you go over to the right. When you go here, it feels like you're not moving to the left. Like you move to the left and you stop. And then left. And then you wiggle back to the middle. Stop. And then over to the right. And because of that, it has a little bit of that stop and go. Which makes it overall maybe a tad wiggly. It almost gives the illusion of a back and forth with the hip. I don't feel like it's doing a I'm waiting for my tool here. Uh, there you go. It doesn't feel like you're doing whoop, 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 like left and right with, with the hips. And you know, at this point, these sec sections are more announced, pronounced <clears throat> because of the the steps and the impact. It feels like you, it's a bit like whoa, whoa, whoa. There's something I don't know, that's not exactly a technical note you can write down, but. Something wiggly. Those hips. That's it though. Again, if I'm being picky. Super cool. They're really good. Really nice work. Alright, that's it for me. Thank you. Alright. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.